Well, salutations, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to uh, yet another uh, reaction video to this beloved series, Genlock, which we are uh, currently on episode four. Uh, for those out there who are uh, uninitiated uh, with who we are exactly, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. Lavina. And Jacob. And I'm Roan. Oh, yeah. So, <clears throat> those of you who are, you know, who weren't aware of who the hell we are. Oi! Oi! Good day. Good eye, Mike. And that's episode this many. Fower. This many. Four. Hey, real quick, just out of curiosity, is it healthy or unhealthy that in the last three days that I've been on my diet, I've lost 12 and a half pounds? Three days? Yeah. I feel like that's, that's a little a bit too fast. quick. <laughs> yeah, it might be a little bit fast. I'd tone it back just a little bit. Yeah. I, I, if I were you, I'd probably just be like, all right, a uh, little bit of cheese, a little bit of... And I throw in like a little small cup of rice, like like itty bitty cup of rice, and just like sift through it with chopsticks, and just be like, that one looks good. No. I just assumed that I was just shedding the hopes and dreams that I've had. I was just shedding the weight of them off. Ah, uh, I'm just giving up. That's fine. No, that's fine. I, me, I, I to I, the video. Yeah, I don't have any hopes and dreams to shed. Instead, it's just instead uh, because of my big brown eyes. I'm, a lot of people say I'm full of shit. I, I you really know how to uh, kill the fun. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cheering some of uh, All right. No, these are my. This is my hopes and dreams right here. The only uh, hopes and dreams I have is the track on them from Undertale that's on my playlist. Done. 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 My only but, hopes and dreams are that they make a good Mass Effect. They bring it back. <sighs> they bring it back. If only Bioware could be bought by someone who actually can. You know what I want? I want Sony to buy Bioware. You know yeah, why? Like, because Sony so far has a, such a good winning track record with mm -hmm. first party, like first party, uh, uh, like uh, action games. Well, they said on God of War that Sony left most of the decisions to the developers and did not oversee and micromanage. And yeah, I mean, good. like, Horizon that's... Zero Dawn was all Gorilla. Wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Gorilla and uh, Corey Barlog. I mean, when he came back, that was one thing he absolutely stated. He's like, I want to be in creative control of this project. I want, I want, I want to be able to, like, speak to the other teams as well. And he actually spoke to people at Naughty Dog, and he actually spoke to people at Gorilla Games. Hmm. And turns out that did great for him. Pretty but what sure about the Death Stranding is going to be PlayStation exclusive as well. Well, yeah, I mean, if we ever fucking see the game, <laughs> oh, we'll see it. I think Hideo is pretty much going to if if it's not announced this year, I'd be very surprised. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, because I knew we weren't going to get it in 2017 and 2018. I knew not we yet. weren't going to because. Usually, whenever Hideo does an E3, a big E3 reveal like he did back in 2016, it's just like, okay, we may see a trailer or two for this over the next couple of years, but we won't see this game for at least three to four years. No, and I'm all, I'm all in favor of people. You know, I would rather have developers take their time and make a good game than try and fucking rush it out like yeah. goddamn Assassin's Creed or some shit. Well, I just I'm, don't want to see it turn well, into a star. Here's system. one thing I'm glad of. I am glad that, well, speaking of Assassin's Creed, I'm glad they pulled back the reins a bit on that mm -hmm. series and they've actually allowed the dev houses to properly test the games and actually make them good because a lot of people say that Assassin's Creed Origins... Uh, is actually the first good Assassin's yeah. Creed game. The, in a long well, that's time. what I've heard about. That one and Odyssey are actually they're pretty. Yeah, it, they're like a return to form, mm -hmm. and I'm glad because ever since Black Flag, I've been bored by the series. Like, yeah. I, like I played Black Flag, and I'm just like, this is awesome. Seafaring combat, yeah. get to blow shit up, get to dive the, under, you know, dive in the depths of the uh, the Caribbean, and just find all this sunken treasure. It's like. I will say that was probably my favorite part of Assassin's Creed 3 was getting on like the on the, the ship, ship on the ship and, yeah. and, and no, for me it Brits. was too because to me the That's story the reason I bought the game well they butchered <laughs> the story so badly because they split it up into two hmm. you know with it and Liberation instead of combining the two like they should have because hey one of the, some of the biggest uh, battles in the American War for uh, Independence happened throughout the South and if you could have had Connor and Abilene uh, you know, Connor with his story, and then Abilene asking for help, or Connor asking for help, and then both of them meet up, and then you and then you can do... Uh, they actually had co-op missions that you could do later on in DLC, 
But if they would have had that ready for the game and actually had put that out Mm -hmm. where the different battles took place all over the country, I think it would have been awesome. Could you imagine going into New Orleans and uh, having to fight through the streets as Aveline and Connor and just like... Well, I don't. I don't think the New Orleans was a thing. During well, not the New Orleans. Well, <laughs> well, New Orleans was a port. Was a port where American, where America received a lot of uh, help because it was mostly controlled by the French and the Spanish. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm just thinking my geography and everything that way. It well, makes sense, but, uh, I know. I know. Yeah, as but, a port, it makes sense. Well, it was. Well, it was called New Orleans mm-hmm. for a long time. Meanwhile, Genlock episode four. Yeah, I guess we should. This, is, a, this is what we do, in, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry. Sorry. Like, okay, <laughs> for those of you who've known us for a long time, if you expect something different, come on, guys. Yeah, you know we don't get straight much. to the point. We're done. <laughs> no, we never do. We string, we string off, we go off on tangents, we ramble. Hey, but hey, you, it's more content for you. Hey, the and if you want to see us ramble even more, uh, tune in. Uh, tune in every Wednesday between uh, five thirty and six o'clock, and uh, you'll be able to see us. Uh, rant and rave about some of our favorite things, but for now, and that is our shameless plug for the episode. Yes, it is. So here we go. We are uh, on uh, the Genlock train. Now, this is, this the is the first one I haven't seen beforehand. Yeah. So I'll so, be genuine this time. Here we go. Ready? Let's go. All right, y'all. It's a school day. Let's go. Turn to your body. If your neural image changes too much, it will be incompatible with how you left your human nervous system. You won't be able to download again. Ah, you got the uh, That's kind of a big catch. So what, they'd be stuck in the robots, basically. Maybe. Maybe. Interesting plot out. <laughs> body suits. Your bodies are immensely strategically valuable. In addition to their genlock function, the body suits serve as intelligent armor, reading your nervous system's intent and granting enhanced strength and speed. If you have to go this time, they may as well be useful. There's an always on private network between all uploaded minds. Think of it as telepathy. It will even allow you to achieve general phase two, where you can begin to share, uh, well, everything about your mind. Aging out. When the human brain reaches adulthood, it stops regenerating neurotransmitters. Genlock relies upon that ability in a younger mind, hence you can age out of the program. 
take Leon here. He was compatible, but it's just a bit too old. Hence, there's too much risk for him to join the program. Oh, they got their armor on. Huh? They put they got armor plating on. Oh yeah. No, I mean they I, they, they just did a hard cut to that. I don't. Know. Well, so yeah, I would I would have shown like the like the designing of the armor and plus. Yeah. Although it does look like it's like default right now because it's for the intro. Yeah, there's probably gonna be personalized armors. So. Hey. Hey. Damn. Didn't think about what I wanted to say after hey. <laughs> Rookie. Happens so, to the best. Uh, of us. I know. <laughs> How do you think class is going, Sensei Chan? Sensei what? I don't know. That's what Kazu calls you. Well, if your newbies don't get killed on their first mission, we'll call it a pass. Oh, come on. They're not that bad. Kami's got nerves around weapons. Kazu charges in alone. Valentina always hangs back. They have raw talent as individuals, but refuse to trust or communicate. So they fail as a bio team. They're going to get their asses handed back to them in four-story tall pieces. Ooh, that's cool. It's how I see it. It's how Leon and Jody see it. Yeah, okay. Ah. Uh, Are we ever going to talk about Jody? Not if I can help it. Miranda. What? Do you really want the details? It was years, Chase. Years getting over you. Then years trying to finally get on with my life, but betraying everything by even trying. And now what am I supposed to Whoa, do? Oh, hey, I, I don't know. Miranda, yes, this is my fault. It isn't your... You did what you needed to do. I don't blame you or anyone. For what it's worth, it wasn't easy for me either. Ma, Dre, oh. Uh -huh. Years of knowing you were out there, but being told I couldn't reach out. When has that ever stopped you? It was because I'd be damned if I reached out and then died on you twice. Nobody knew if I was going to make it. And I'm sorry, but I wasn't going to put you through that again. That's a good You've point. The state I'm in. Mm. It's been a long road to make peace with that. But I've made it. I'm good. I'm here now. All I can do is keep moving forward, and I'm not going to watch another chance go by. Do what you got to do. But if you ever wanted to try something again... Do you know what my tank is? I don't know. I don't know what to think anymore. But maybe. Maybe you could try one of those opening lines next time. Hmm. Oh, wonder if we'll ever sort it. God! Where did you come from? Just mixing from a whole lot. Just does it all the time. Thought I'd give it a try. What are you working on? Strider up key. They've been pushing them hard to keep up with you guys. They're pushing us just as hard. And it doesn't help that I just can't seem to get comfy in the whole one. Something's off. Off how? Hard to say. There's just something about the way I'm wired. I just want to be lower. It's like I'm having to run while wearing the world's highest high heels. And with the way this boxy armor throws me off, it's like I'm always about to follow my arms. Mm -hmm. Well, to fix that, you'd have to overhaul the endoskeleton itself. <coughs> you'd literally have to rip those legs off and redo them. Armor's easier. Just lay out your new pattern, send it to the printers, boom, done. Wait, you can just do that? Yeah, check it. Vanguard designed your armor for the ESU. Of course, now the Colonel's got my team covering maintenance for you guys, too. We use those printers right over there. Uh, I could mod my kit. <laughs> not without authorization. And, uh, <clears throat> not without the software that I'm sending you right now. <laughs> <laughs> No, but really don't. Like, you cannot tell anyone, okay? But check this out. See, Chase being all mopey lately, gave me some ideas. I've been working on something. Thank you. Go on. He's just not right without these. They're gonna build him legs. I don't know if my legs have been this tight my entire life. I'm just saying it's harder. Too easy. Too easy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but not to you. 
illegal in Scotland. If I order it with food, you're not in Scotland. <laughs> I'm with you, preferably where there's dancing. Yeah, but look, we're not allowed on base. What do they do for fun around here then? The ether, same as anywhere. You want a game together? Teach two? No. no. Damn it. Oh. Ah, yeah. <laughs> You'd rather be I was bored excited to see hang out online. We spend all day, every day together. This is our first time off. You're the last people I want to see right now. <laughs> but we're supposed to be working on team building, right? So let's go game together or something. Improve the communication. Or some shite. Come on. <sighs> all right. Woo! <laughs> oh, that's a gaming console right there. Ah. Uh, oh, that's what you three is. Okay. That's nice. Wonder what their avatars are going to look like. Oh, I know whose that is. <laughs> I know whose that is. That's her. Okay. That's her, you know, without a doubt. <laughs> you have a hijab? In here, but not out there? Is it so unusual? No, not at all. It's, it's just weird seeing you long hair. I think she looks lovely. Did you used to wear it this way? <laughs> David Bowie. Smashing. But you? I have to admit, it may be time to use thou again. But Game with your auto wife to get? No. Well, yes. I will now. But it's not role playing. Kazoo, do you not know, pal? Ah, oh, sorry, Bob. You should say it's not my place. And yet, it's perfectly fine. My body is physically female at present, but I'm starting to think maybe soon a change. In your company. Think gender fluid. Not that lot? You've shifted before? A few times now. Sometimes, not now. Perhaps again soon. I sense the pressure coming on again in a way I haven't in a long time. You never know. Oh, what is taking chasing off? Really? You can make yourself look like anything you imagine and you go with a hoodie. What can I say? You gotta be me. Are we getting the what? Aye, we got several options to make fancy. We could go sci fi. Are you joking? We do this all day long. <laughs> I have a sudden desire to hit the club. You daft is. Yes? Our name is Hunter. Perhaps another time. You got me. Oh, I guess. Hey, what? Am I not good? No, no, they're attacking the video game. What was that? Is the Vanguard not paid his ether bill? Interceptors ready one and ready two. Scramble. Alert team. Baker, Charlie, and Gen 1 1. Report to North America for immediate loadout. Oh, Repeat. hell. Interceptors ready one Come on. and ready two. Alert it's team. Showtime. Baker. We'll be dropping you in 10 minutes north of the Dallas data center. They're trying to bring down the ether. If you can do that. It appears the Union is attacking one of the main distribution nodes for the entire network. The area was evacuated when the attack began, and since then there's been too much interference to get a good read on the Union forces. We're not exactly sure what you're heading into. Psycho. If they're tapped into the data center, aren't we fucked already? Cammy, we have got to work on your cursing. Why? I curse pretty well already. <laughs> <laughs> God, I love Cammy. Effed. Aren't we already effed? We are not sure. Eh? This isn't our... the Union's normal attack pattern. Exactly. The Union are like an infection. They creep, they expand. This data center is hundreds of miles from Union territory. We've never seen them extend their reach this far in one go since... New York. 
The usual MO is to edge into the next area and shove the polity and its sympathizers out with the minimum of collateral damage. They want the infrastructure intact. Maybe <coughs> they finally decided to cripple the ether. Do you even listen? Insufficient uptime to cover both travel and the mission itself. This is how you usually deploy. We fly you in, you upload, go take care of business, then you download back into your human body as quickly as possible, you fly home. At the risk of bringing our bodies closer to the action, can you tell how thrilled I am about that? What? What? Upload it. Uh, no. There you go. So that's interesting. It puts them at a uh, lot more risk if they got to fly close. Yeah. Oh, of course, because your bot it's it's a lot like Avatar. Yeah. Your body's a lot more at risk if you're if you're closer to the action. We're coming in hot. You just had to ask. <laughs> Smooth. I just toppled the world. <laughs> signs in the building sin in the clowns admiral akbar has a has a life uh, lesson for you negative contact no life <clears throat> no ordinance command take it you heard her two by two grunts moving in all right try to secure in a perimeter hold on patrol the outfield do you want that hang back split up and keep your eyes open Something with a little more kick. 
Yeah, I don't know why they gave her a little pistol yeah. magnum thing. <laughs> Maybe it's what she likes. No, I don't know. Oh, hell no. Oh, that's not good. Chase, get her out of there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I might need these. <laughs> it's a smart car, bro. Right? Yeah. <laughs> You'll have to disarm him. Because he's got four arms. Yet, you'll have to... Oh, that was a fail. I've seen worse. He didn't even get the release. Like, what are the bullets doing? Just bouncing weak. off? Looks like it. Yeah, there you go. Oh! Uh. Oh, they operate on an axis. Damn. That's even more so difficult. I think that bubble has gotten bigger. Boosh! Good shot. <laughs> Valentina? So it's surprising how quickly the Union appeared to come up with a countermeasure. Yeah, I know. It's... I have a theory that it has something to do with the dude that broke in. Ah, uh, you, think, you think he might I think be... he might not have failed his mission as horribly as it looked like he did. You think? Yeah, there's a possibility they had some sort of uh, something in place and he sacrificed himself. Might be a distraction while something else went down inside the building. Could be that, what or it could be that they got some sort of info whenever he tried to upload that they needed to figure out how to do it. <clears throat> well, Maybe whenever... they needed to see it fail in order to get theirs to work or something. Well, I'm thinking if he uploaded his, if he tried to upload his consciousness to the system to try and activate a Holon. Uh, the one thing that could have happened uh, probably might have been. Uh, the whole, like, his brain, is, his consciousness is still, was still in the system somewhere, and it probably found its way out. It probably found its way out of their system and back to, and back to the Union. And Either maybe that, that... Or, you know, like, they have 
implants in their eyes, and that's because like they can see like basically subtitles when people talk so, a different language and stuff. Yeah. So like, there's a chance way. that could be linked remotely to the union, and they saw everything he saw. When so he if in. the Genlock program is experimental at the moment, then how does the enemy have it? If that if that was actual person piloting that, machine. well, that's what I, I was saying. I'm surprised they came up with a counter. Well, so I don't know. think it's really. I don't saying. think it's really a gen lock to where it's the same depth uh, as deep diving as that. I think mm-hmm. instead it is a. I think instead if it's not an onboard pilot who is just like just wired in Matrix style with all the mm-hmm. wires yeah. you know j- directly well, the way it was walking was real cryptic and yeah it was it was moving, like it was so. it was unstable and the arms, the mini maybe arms, they forced really somebody cool. into a gen yeah probably style unstable program. yeah like very, very unstable it has four arms and obviously well as, as far as like how it seemed kind of reluctant like obviously it retreated and stuff but also kind of like reluctant with some of its moves it seemed I, I wonder if it's actually the uh, the other dude the uh, what's his name that well, it turned out to be a traitor. Oh, uh, I forget what his name. The one that died, Blaine. Yeah, Blaine. Whoever the, I forget what the character's name is. Blaine. But I wonder if Permanently. again that dude was just a clone or something. They the real guy. They like the union has him, but they're basically using him, and so like he's being, oh. he's being forced to do this like from off from a different. So either it's in, he's in the mech, which would be interesting as far as that would be the way they would get him back. Because I mean, they show him in the intro. They keep yeah. So. Even I though would've... Blaine's name isn't there anymore, because uh, I noticed that with this, whenever the intro rolled in this, they showed his character, but they Not didn't have man. Blaine's hmm. uh, name in the credits. Hmm. And that's uh. and I'm like, huh, that's weird. Yeah. Because they're still showing him. Uh, like I know that there's certain shows like after a character has died. They keep them. Sometimes they keep them in the credits. Yeah, but I mean, we l- collectively see all, saw him for about five minutes, maybe in that episode, or ten, ten minutes between the time we're introduced to him to the point that he is killed in the thing. Yeah. So I feel like they wouldn't, they wouldn't even bother developing him as a character for those five minutes. I mean, for like, you know, I I have a feeling there's going to be more. There, ha- there probably come, is. So. I mean, we're we're only halfway through the series now. I mean that's episode four, so I'm glad we got to see some action. I was worried it was gonna be yeah, like, just it was more a lot training. Of action, man, I liked it. Yeah, yeah and, well, I, no, I like the character building that they did with the uh, with them getting to know each other more and more and more. Yeah. Although I'm just uh, glad it didn't turn into a big episode of more training. <laughs> kind of like I mean, obviously that training is important. Oh yeah. To have to show, but I yeah, I'm glad we saw some action there. Oh the yeah. So I got one question. As far as her getting her head ripped off, and that's directly connected with her her brain wiring. I, I would say. Yeah. Um, is that going to have any permanent damage to her? Well, is she physical to damage be- that you incur to the mech, you feel in a certain sense because I they I think they said that you feel it in a certain sense. However. The sensation. They said the, he had like physical feedback. Yeah. yeah. The, however, the sensation is yeah. not as extreme. So that's why she was screaming. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that was like very I mean, painful screaming well, too. It was like, oh. Yeah. I mean, but there certainly possibly some pain aspects, and obviously that's where they would have all the sensory nodes, like vision but, and hearing and stuff. So. But the primary place that they had the uh, that the thing was trying to get to was the uh, data core, which yeah, is right here in the heart. And you could actually see it uh, whenever it ripped, started to rip through yeah. her chest plate, and also there at the, you know, there at the end, or at the end where she was like, "Look, he's like, I've got no head. How am I seeing?" And it's like, <laughs> and I, I think this, I think this is going to be a learning experience, not just for her, but for everyone, because now, now that they've got a hand for the, like the personalization. The benefit of personalization of one's rig because she's she's naturally uncomfortable in it because she's it's so tall. much taller than what she normally is used to. The body, you know, her body matrix uh, compared to what the what the hull on is is absolutely off. Hmm. Whereas if you were to short, if she were to shorten her legs and her torso a little bit and give herself a better weapon. Probably, I would yeah. say for her, <laughs> yeah, that something pistol. other than yeah, yeah, yeah that little pistol, pistol ain't much. That little pistol is uh, yeah, quite literally, yeah. Look, look, a pistol. Like if her, if I were her, 
given that she's a skilled hacker and a and very and very data oriented, I'll try with anything her, but that pistol. Well, well, me, I would do a, I would do sort of like a spear gun that actually has a hacking node on it. Like she can actually shoot it and it uh, shoot it into a machine and hardwire it to where it can pretty much be overridden and she can have full control over it. And she's and she can shown that she can multitask. So on top of her doing that, if like someone's approaching her, then she can stave them off with uh, with covering fire. I mean, who's to say? I mean, I don't know how they're going to do the characters overall. I mean, we see in the intro that they do personalize their rigs a little bit more. Hmm. And each of them gets their own style. And I think that's a good thing. Yeah, same thing with, like, Kazu. Like, he's clearly going to be, like, the heavy in the group. Kind oh, of, yeah. He's so. he's going to definitely be their 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 tank samurai. Yeah. I, I can definitely see it. I, uh, imagine he's him just using, like my Katsu Han character. Yeah. <laughs> uh, imagine, him, imagine him wielding a big-ass... Con- Kanabo. A yeah. big-ass so, Kanabo. Or I was a, actually uh, waiting and hoping uh, to see a car just straight up come smash him around the face. Through the, and I didn't well, like, see through it. Through the cloud. I was like, no. Like through that little bit cloud of nano. Yeah, I mean, that, that would be awesome. Nothing, that like was like, I was waiting for this car to come smash him <laughs> out through the... That would well, be awesome. And, but he knocked it away. And, of course, Valentina uh, with the uh, well with the sniper. sniper mm. She's going to be... or They're going to probably be a pure sniper from yeah. now on. And also, they're probably going to be, um, I, I don't know, they're probably going to have a sort of assault weapon uh, to keep, you know, to, if, just in case their position is compromised. Uh, if anything, sort of like Wid- how Widowmaker has the, in, the, mm-hmm. in, in Overwatch, what? has the sniper that can morph into a submachine gun. So if who exactly was that that snuck? Uh, Valentina. Oh, mm-hmm. Rush, uh, Ukrainian. Okay. She's and the then, one doing the split, yeah. right? Yes. Yep. And then there was Madani. She kind of puts me in mind of Widowmaker. Honestly. Kind of, kind of. Yeah, except, like yeah where Widowmaker. Well, it could be where the inspiration is coming from. Yeah. yeah. So like, except for some of her hair looks more like somber. Yeah. 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 Widowmaker. Whereas Widowmaker yeah, is gross. Widowmaker's French. So I, that's, True. Yeah. And uh, although you know it's European, you could say. I mean, yeah, yeah it's that European appeal. I think there's plenty of different cultures. I know there's plenty of different cultures in Europe, but tell that to the, tell it to the other places out there who are just like. Oh, Europeans, they're all the same. It's like, oh, Asian countries, they're all the same. I say it, that shit about no, America. Ignora- right. No, it's just there's ignoramuses all over the planet who are going right. to do that. I mean, I, it's just like I talked to this one guy from Australia. Uh, he said, he said, he said, he's, he's like, oh, I, you know you know how you tell the difference between all the other countries in uh, in Europe, right? It's like, how's that? It's like, see which one, uh, it's like, all you got to do is just walk straight through, and if you don't notice any differences, then honestly, they're all the same. And he's just like, really? He's like, because you can walk from Portugal to, you can walk from the tip of Portugal all the way up to Latvia, and you'll experience a whole lot of different stuff. And he's just like, he's like, I don't really care, mate. I'll see Aboriginals every day, and that that's a hell of a different culture for me. Oh my god! And I'm like, and I'm just, it's like, if it's not, if it's not a stark difference like that, I don't really, I don't really understand. I mean, it's just like. People say it's Polish sausage. No, it's not. It's German sausage that just Poles just took and make it their own. I'm like, <laughs> okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, anyways, I know I know, uh, I know certain people who aren't going to get a Christmas card from their European relatives. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, cause it's just like because that's why all the Australians are always just like, like I'm, the, a, uh, I'm Australian, mate. I just like the sentence you just said. How it just contradicted itself by the end of the sentence because it's like it's. It's not theirs. It's something they took and made their own. I know. Yeah. That's like, what I, I'm they just made like. It their own. I'm like it's fucking theirs, isn't it? Yeah, it's just like uh, most people who are just like it's like oh Australians. It's like uh, like I don't understand why people have to be so have have to have this natural animosity towards other people. Like, look, I get it. Hey, uh, you know, people are animo- uh, you know, have animosity towards Germany because of you know World War Two. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, you mean something that happened almost a hundred years ago? Get over it. Jesus, God, Hitler's dead. Stalin's dead. All the old world all like the old world bastards are you, dead. I'll tell you a big difference is Canadian bacon. That is not bacon. No. I, I agree. <laughs> it's it's just ham. It's just ham. It's okay. I would have agreed with you, but turkey bacon is I would have agreed with you, no. but I had a I, I had Oh, you should Wait have it the way. You should have it the way. Wait my, a minute. No, you should have it the way. 
You should have it the way my stepdad cooks it. You know how he cooks it? I have it? to have it soft, not crunchy. No, 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 not crunchy. It's perfectly chewy, but has a little bit of a hint on it that I guarantee you won't be able to place if I don't really? tell you what if I don't tell you what mm. it is. But you know what he puts on it? Brown sugar, a little bit, just a little a hint, bit. a little hint well, at it. All I've just like all sprinkles it on. Brown sugar bacon. Like brown but no, sugar no, 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 candy, no candy bacon. That's one thing. I'm talking about perfectly cooked. It's not really cooked. candied. It's just. Oh brown god, sugar here we bacon. are. Okay. Brown we need... sugar goes with almost. Yeah, maybe we should. Bacon. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you brought up bacon. I did. <laughs> okay, he you brought up. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, don't put all bacon. this on me. Yeah, this, ain't this my is fault. all my fault. I love bacon. Hey, Jesus, Canadian okay. bacon is hey, not bacon. I agree, I've been to Canada. Okay, so, alright, ladies and gentlemen, this was episode four of uh, Gen Lock, season one. I'm assu- assuming this, there's going to be more seasons of this because there's just too much to unravel here with just eight episodes. I guess I'm there better be fucking that, more uh, seasons of this. <laughs> for a second, that they were about to go super fucking dark with this show, too, aren't I? Oh, you mean with the... You thought they were going to kill uh, McLeod? Uh, or at least put her in like some sort of coma, like brain damage type stuff. Nah, yeah, they like, wouldn't do that to her. They were about to go that, really no. fucking dark with this. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that soon. Yeah. So if it's, scream, if it's well, going, we haven't seen the aftermath yeah, yet. The so. screams made me think she was fucked. I did, well, too. If, it, <laughs> if, it, if anything, you think it's going to happen to Katsu, because he's just... He's just kind of dumb and headstrong. Yeah, way too headstrong, way too, you know, way too bullish with his tactics. I think he's going to get himself in too deep, and he's going to wind up, and he's going to wind up hurting himself. I don't think that they're going to go very dark with this, actually, other than, like, the civilian casualties and stuff, obviously, from the Union. Like, I don't think they're going to... Like kill off main characters or anything. Because you gotta think their first episode, somebody supposedly died on yeah, it. Yeah, you know and, and he's still like, alive. Oh. So well, a lot of people died in the first episode. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. But like, like, I don't think they're gonna go super dark. Like, like you mean, know, episode fair, four kill off a main character that you were expecting to be in the entire series or anything. You know, so yeah, that's that's fair. But for a second, I thought they might have been going like Attack on Titan, Game of Thrones with it, and I was about to be like, oh shit. <laughs> but they did. Well, it was a really good fight, though. Oh, it was. It that was. was a really good fight. And I think I think it's it's one of those. It's a lot like uh, for a comparison. It's a lot like the the vile fight in the first Mega Man X. Okay. You know, oh, yeah. you fight. You know, it's the big fight against the first boss, and you get your shit wrecked. Mm-hmm. And here comes, you know, X or here comes a uh, zero to save the day. Yep. And it's just like, hey, X, listen up. One day you're not strong enough to beat him now, but. With enough time and enough training, and enough and the right equipment, you can beat him, and you can be like me. And it's yep. just like, yeah, and it's just like, holy crap! I get to be as cool as Zero, you know, with the blaster and the, and the hair. The hair. <laughs> what? What? There's it's like, always been kind of a, a thing you. I've always noticed in kind of like conflict, yeah, it, with a, with a conflict in a in a, uh, a story, whether it's like you know some kind of action or whatever, like Forty Seven Ronin or something, right? Yeah. Where there's for the for the protagonist, there's always a minor victory. And then a major defeat, and then a total victory at the end. So well, this would be the minor victory. I would, I would say. Well, the I would say this would actually be the minor def- or the first major defeat because the minor victory came whenever whenever Chase returned. Because that was the no. I mean, like in a in a in a battle context, as far as like like fighting the the actual enemy, um, that because I mean they they were able to fight off the. The Union in this case. Well, they were, but their Holons, effectively all of them, got their shit pushed in, save yeah. for Valentina. And it's because a Valentina was Right, but they still, it's not like, I mean, they still managed to send the fucking, the Union mech there running. I would oh, yeah. say it was more or of a draw because they had a tactical retreat as soon as that was done yeah, as well. Yeah, and, and then that's fine. I'm just saying as far as what I've, I've noticed, it, whether it's, again, it's a minor victory. It's not something like, yeah. oh, yeah, we kicked the, you know, It's the not that all hope is lost. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yet. That usually happens at the beginning. Uh, it's like, hey, we didn't two. die. <laughs> typical, well, back to it, beginning act typi- three. Yeah, typical compelling storytelling. I mean, you, that's usually what you get. I mean, so so far, though, I mean... I'm enjoying what we're getting oh, yeah, so far. Oh, awesome I just show. realized I something else. Since, What's that? Uh, she just got her mech fucked up. 
they basically have more of a reason to, to rebuild her her match yeah. for her, yeah. and she wants to do she'll, it. She'll, she'll say unique, that's why and then everyone else is going to see hers, and then they're all going to want theirs to be unique. So that's what I've been hoping for is that they weren't all going to just be different colored, like Power Ranger style. The problem is hers. Hers. Uh, does require the most uh, the most change because uh, adapting to her to her body nature. Well, but clearly, clearly that's, they're going to That's gonna good, go. though, because the others are going to see it and be like, yours is so different now. I want mine to be different. Well, I mean, clearly, too. but clearly th- having to fight against that mech and just how quickly the, the Union was able to come up with a countermeasure to it, they there's a need for all of them to upgrade. Yeah. And so, so, I mean, well, yeah. It, it, them having their mechs be closer to what they want them to be would help them out. Heavy Arms Custom. <laughs> because they need to give like um, I can't remember names. It's a Japanese awesome guy. Uh, they need to give him like some big fucking maces or something to hit Uh-oh. shit with. Uh, just, just went. Just went to sleep. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't worry. We're good. We're good. Come on. Are we still recording? Up. Yeah, we're still recording. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, they need to give Japanese guy like some big fucking maces or something. Because like, he obviously <laughs> well, likes to bash stuff. So. Well, I would say for him, a little bit heavier armor... And and also and I would give him, uh, he loves melee, so I give him a kanabo, and I would also give him I would also give him like gaunt like like good studded gauntlets so yeah. he could actually punch things and do damage, hmm. because he's a brawler. That's what he is. He's a tank. He's effectively he's effectively their uh, their road hog. Run in. And Chase destroy. is kind of like the. Uh... Tracer type character. It seems almost like the fast character. Yeah, Chase. I would say Chase is along the lines of that, or probably Soldier Seventy Six because of his, you know, of his ability of his how fast he is. Mm. Uh, Madani, I would say is. I would actually say Madani is pretty close to uh, uh, pretty close to the base build of Chase as well. I think right now it's just they're the most where they're the original two. They've done the training and they're going off of what has been told to them. Yeah, they're following orders along the lines of how to operate, how to do this, how and to do that. And it worked well for them, whereas it's not working as well for the others. So they could actually adapt it to work well for everyone. If yeah, they wanted and to. I think that's what's going to happen. I think yeah. Madani, like one, I think Madani and Chase are going to be able to personalize their rigs to be able to do more and do better. And I, I. And it'll take see them seeing what the others do with theirs before they want to, probably. So. Oh yeah, yeah, and I think Chase Chase is going to realize that you know he has to like he has to do that. He can't just follow orders all the time. Also, I have one small theory: is that the Union has that nano machine tech that clearly the the good side doesn't. Yeah. So there's a possibility. They could have done their own thing with that. That maybe it moved the way it was because it's actually being operated like by the nano machines, and that's mm. why I had a cloud of them following him. Maybe. So that's maybe. my other theory. Is it still going? Yeah, I think that's everything. I think good. that's all my thoughts. Red line, red light, light, it's a really big recording. delay because my I was wait, waiting to see when my arm came oh, down, but it never came hold down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, let me do this. Oh. Ah, uh, I know it's wrong. Here we go. Let me bring it back. There we go. Ah, okay. Sorry Just about started. that. Camera froze up there for a second. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. So yeah, it, it's audio, it's from it going into sleep mode. I about, so. I gotta I the, I've repaired Prometheus and he work and he works again. It's just the little things I gotta fix. Totters, get away from the kid. Hey. Kid there. Hey. Come around. Come around. Tell me. Tell me you're snotty. Yes. But anyways, he picks up the kitty. Does anybody else oh, have any baby. thoughts to share before we end? Uh, I'm just waiting for. Um, they haven't came across Toggy's custom yet. They come across that, that's gonna be all over. Mm. <laughs> Toggy's custom. Another custom reference. Yeah, I me as long as they don't encounter a sand rock, yeah. I'll be all right. And we got to hear Catra's whining. Epion. Yeah. All right. But all right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that's gonna do it. We hope you all have enjoyed what you've seen here. This was a. Uh, Genlock uh, episode uh, four, and I'm excited to see where this goes from here. So, uh, if you all want to see more, and uh, if you are watching this early on Patreon, we appreciate your support, and we also hope that uh, also hope that you will continue to support us, and we hope that you will also support Rooster Teeth by going to their website and checking out the series. They're they're already a week ahead of us, so. I don't know what else. I don't, I don't know what you're doing here. Let's be no. honest. They already closed the window of this video out, and they're already watching it right now. Yeah, they're already watching episode. Yeah, because you better yeah, be. Yeah, who be. wants who wants to hear a bunch of nerds just just <laughs> just gawk on about a internet internet based animation show? Apparently, a bunch of people. 
Yeah. Yeah, you're right. All right. Well, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, thank you all very much for tuning in. Until next time, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. Lavina. Jacob. And I'm Ron. And we'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. Bye.